Hey, what's going on guys? The Iron Hulk is here bringing you a new segment called Toy Talk, or whatever I call it down there. It's episode 101, so bear with me. Still trying to get some things orchestrated here. Obviously, you can see we're focusing on Hot Toys, Star Wars, and Sideshow. I'm not going to go on a huge rant here, but uh, <laughs> if you know me and you know my channel, I don't really focus too much on Star Wars. I'm more into AVP and uh, Iron Man, Avengers, DC, Batman, all that stuff. And that's for a very good reason because Star Wars is like a giant black hole. Once you get into it, you're just, you know, falling and falling and buying more stuff and buying more stuff. All this has been obtained within two, three months. It's bad. Basically, you know, I buy and sell a lot, and I just sold some things that I'm like, eh, whatever about. And I just started going crazy. My first purchase was Darth Vader. I, I That's a lot. Let me start with last year. Force Awakens came out, and I was pretty impressed by it. I, I wasn't, like, you know, awed and like, oh my god, it's the greatest thing ever. But I really liked it, and I thought Kylo Ren, before he took off his helmet, was cool. And uh, lucky... Me, I found a Kylo Ren Hot Toys figure at my local comic shop about a month and a half after the movie came out in theaters, so it was pretty fresh. And, uh, you know, it's cool to have some Hot Toys figures that are out around the same time of the release of the film. Um, so my ex-girlfriend told me, you gotta buy it, and I'm like, shit. And uh, at the same time, this A New Hope Luke came out, and I really wanted that too, but I went with Kylo. Well, that got me wanting to get Stormtroopers and to get Darth Vader and to have this whole cool collection of the Sith and then eventually get Jedis, and I'm just like, no, I can't. So that summer, uh, last summer, I sold Kylo because I said, no way, there's no way I'm doing this. This has got to stop because this is going to be bad. Well, Rogue One came out, and I loved most of that movie. Probably the best part was the ending where Darth Vader shows up and just wrecks. So that week I bought the Sideshow Revenge, sorry, Return of the Jedi. That was the original title, Revenge of the Jedi. Um, Darth Vader. I hit the Sideshow and it wasn't cheap. You know, they go for like 250 He doesn't come with anything. Uh, the deluxe version that came out a few years ago comes with an extra head and a bunch of cool stuff. This is just, uh, it's got a neat light-up feature, which I'm actually going to turn off because I don't want to waste the battery too much here. And um, that's about it. And a lightsaber. So, you know, starting off strong and then kind of like bummed out because he doesn't get much stuff. He doesn't get all these cool accessories that you would expect from a Hot Toys figure, especially the Hot Toys Vader, the two of them that came out. So, you know, no light-up lightsaber or anything like that, which... It's a bummer, but uh, you still have really, really intense figure. I mean, Darth Vader kind of, you know, is taller than everybody here, even on stands. And, I mean, Boba's f flying here, so it's kind of kind of not a, a good comparison. Um, so after Darth Vader, I just went nuts. I just went crazy, and I just bought a ton of stuff. Every other week or so, you know, I'd save up money, or I would sell some stuff and get more Star Wars stuff. And it's weird because I haven't been a huge Star Wars collector in years, in such a long time, probably since Revenge of the Sith, or a little bit after that when Clone Wars came out, the, the cartoon series. That was probably the peak because I bought all the three and uh, three quarter scale or whatever they are. And um, yeah, uh, <laughs> it was that was the, the peak of Star Wars for me. And of course I grew up with it, you know. Uh, a New Hope was the first one I saw. And, Still means a lot to me. Mainly, the, the main reason I, I bought R2 and C3PO was because of that. Um, because of the good memories. Uh, you know, I remember being four, four years old and throwing a major tantrum at the video store because I wanted Star Wars. And uh, they were playing it on the, the TV because back then they would, you know, show the new movie that was out because that was the special edition that came out and all that jazz. And uh, they were all rented out. So my mom had to beg the guy to take the tape out. And it's funny that I remember that stuff. But um, yeah, so C-3PO, R2-D2 have a lot of, you know, good memories for me. 
Um, so good, in, in fact, that I still have my original um, Kenner <laughs> C-3PO from when I was really young. And if you can see, I actually chewed on his head. So there we go. Now I got, you know, the Sideshow one. And it's, it's really cool that I still have this because most of my old childhood toys are gone. Either my dad threw them away or they just got lost. Um, so it's really cool that, you know, I'm able to sort of reconnect with my very early childhood and come back to things that I really liked before, you know, and only ignored them because I was afraid of this happening, you know. What do I have, like 14, 15 now? When three months ago I had none. <laughs> so, hmm. That's cool, I guess. Um, so to talk a little bit about the comparison between Hot Toys and Sideshow, uh, you know, I, I bought this Darth Maul figure and he's super expensive um, for a, a Sideshow figure. He's not like, you know, stupidly overpriced, but he is overpriced. He is a really great figure, really great head sculpt. Um, the lightsaber doesn't light up, but you're paying 250 for him. And this is all he comes with. This and uh, this really, really great stand that literally has nothing, but then says Star Wars at the bottom. I don't understand the logic of Sideshow doing that. Why don't you put something cool here? So, hmm? all right. So overall, the the impression is kind of lame because you get the same, you know, you get the same feeling you get with Vader. Vader is really cool. He's a really awesome figure. He His chest lights up, lightsaber doesn't light up, bummer. But overall, you get this very imposing figure, but that's all you get. And I, I always find the fun part about collecting is all the things that your figure comes with. I don't particularly use the accessories, but it's really neat to know that, you know, you're paying for this really expensive figure that is not, you know, a Marvel Legends or Black Series figure. And you're getting great additions with the figure. It's just really nice. Um... You know, um, that's why most of the figures that buy would be deluxe, excuse me, deluxe editions, um, especially with my Figmas, uh, going on the completely different spectrum of collecting there. Uh, I love getting the DX versions of Figmas, and I love getting, you know, the special editions like this Boba Fett, uh, Hot Toys figure. I have them with the Sarlacc pit, which is really great. It's neat. I, I really like this, and I got a good deal on him. He's used, uh, but like perfect condition um so you know when i can get a deal i try and get a deal off these this r2 is used um and these uh battle droids are used and they're super cheap and i can see why because they're not fantastic they have um they have these backpacks which they they don't stay on and if you guys actually have this guy and you know a different way to to do this um please let me know because they just don't stay on <laughs> and uh, these are really flimsy figures but they are cool um, as much as I'm not a huge fan of Phantom Menace as a whole like the movie there are some really great aspects and I really like the designs of these droids and the cool thing with this guy is you can actually fold them up to the position where they land um, when they battle the Gungans at the end um, so it's cool but you know not not the greatest the detail is okay. They're not hot toys, but um, overall, it's uh, they're cool. And um, basically, you know, sideshow versus hot toys. You're not gonna get the same quality. Um, C3PO is another interesting one because he does have a lot of quality, a lot of good details, and not perfect. Definitely not perfect, but he has a really cool light up function. Um, but he's still sideshow, so he is ridden with a lot of issues um i think people were complaining about his head i think it's fine uh i'm not like a purist in terms of like oh that's off by you know um he's expensive though and once again sideshow doesn't seem very reasonable with their prices anymore and they almost seem kind of cocky when um when when they sell their figures now their newer ones because they're like oh look we're almost hot toys caliber figure uh makers now and it's like no you're not because you know hot toys really excels with their paint apps their true type bodies and their accessories they, you, whenever you buy a figure you get really cool shit and uh you know c3po he doesn't 
supposed to really come with anything. He, he's C-3PO. I mean, he lights up, which is cool. Um, and the detail is really great, but it's still Sideshow, you know. It's not this incredible die cast, you know. Um, probably uh, side, uh, Hot Toys would make sound effects and stuff like that. But I actually really like this, and it's a lot of fun to be able to collect Sideshow and Hot Toys figures, mainly because there's so much to choose from now. And uh, obviously, buying the older Sideshow ones, you're not going to be as impressed. But uh, they're definitely stepping up. Um, pricing, though, on either Spectrum, Sideshow, and Hot Toys, you know, they both have gone up incredibly high in the past five years. I think ever since DX and the diecast Iron Man figures, I feel like Iron Man just kind of ruined everything um, because they just focused on Iron Man for a long time. And I am a huge Iron Man fan, but Iron Man 3 literally demolished Hot Toys as a company, I think, uh, for a few years because everything they made beforehand was, you know, a lot of Aliens, Predators, Terminator, a lot of Terminator. Um... And after the, the DX-13, yeah, because the 12 is Batman. After the DX-13, they just kind of cut Terminator. They made one Genesis figure. I understand the film wasn't that great, but at least for at least the endoskeleton, I don't know. I feel like they need to go back to Terminator at some point. I really love, I really love those figures. Um, they just need an update, you know. Um, but unfortunately, Hot Toys is on the Star Wars Marvel train. And uh, even DC is kind of not getting much love. They have made some really great figures. I have the two Batmans, the, the regular and the armored. Really want the Nightmare one, but it's too expensive. And, um, you know, Wonder Woman's coming out. We have Superman. But that's about it. That's all they're making. Um, I understand, you know, it's not much else, but you can make, like, a Batman Forever, uh, Batman and Robin, uh, but, like, a Penguin, a Catwoman, uh, another Joker, an updated version with... The there's like so much they can do, um, but they're just like, hey, more Iron Man 3 suits. That movie is four years old, you know, and not really the greatest. I don't, I don't really like that film. The suits are neat, but, you know, I think when you, when you buy an Iron Man armor, you basically buy it because they have some sort of iconic feel, like the Mark IV or the Mark VI or the Seven or the Three. Or the 46, I actually really want that when it comes out because that was a major, you know, component in Civil War. It was cool. Um, but they're just releasing all these suits, and I know they're huge in in, uh, in Hong Kong, and I, I think they're more popular in different in other countries in the U.S. I really do. Um, but there are the Hot Toys collectors. There's Danaby. I love Danaby. He's I, I hope you're I'm saying your your name right. You're an awesome dude. Love your videos, but. Um, you know, it's, Iron Man is, is, is there, but there needs to be more. But I am grateful that Star Wars is a huge component for Hot Toys as well. Um, you just kind of need more stuff. So, basically, the pricing for, like, a Stormtrooper, like, oh my god, I'm going to keep that just to see the, the horror of these Sideshow figures that don't have stands. These guys have no stands. They literally sell you these flimsy ass um, sideshow battle droids with no stands. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. Anyways, sorry for the fail there. Uh, all these other guys have stands and they will not fall. But um, anyways, talking about Stormtroopers, this is a hot toy Stormtrooper. This is from Rogue One. Doesn't really matter, it's the same exact design. I literally think that it's not even like a redesign. I think it's literally the same as a New Hope Stormtrooper. I think maybe they changed the lens on their eyes. I don't know if they were green to begin with. Um, but yeah, these were like a very dark emerald almost. Um, yeah, so this figure is stupidly expensive. Yeah, it's a stormtrooper. It's cool. We like stormtroopers. It's iconic. It's Star Wars. They're evil, but they're also really dumb. Um, and the only reason why I bought this guy, I mean, besides wanting it, but um, seeing the prices of the original New Hope stormtroopers is nuts. And it's like, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but and they're they're high high qual quality quality 
quality. Figures. I don't know. It's just frustrating because they sell out so fast. And that's kind of like one of the major reasons why I bought these first over, you know, like um, Ray or, or C-3PO who has fallen now and he's in need of assistance. Um, just because they're gonna fly off the Big Bad Toy Store website or or they're not there, like they're sold out and the pre-orders and all this stuff. So I, I bought this off eBay and I have a really great um, seller that I, I buy off of. And yeah, he wasn't cheap. He was almost $250. This is like literally the same price almost as this guy by like 10, 15 bucks. It's crazy. It's really insane. Um, but that's what you get. Hot Toys makes really great figures and these are iconic. So, you know, strangely, the Rogue One Vader isn't as sold out yet as, as I thought it would be. And I feel like there's some issues with it. I know it doesn't light up. It doesn't really do as much as the New Hope version. But uh, whatever. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this Sideshow version. I think I'm good. I eyed the... I eyed. I looked with my eye at the Rogue One Vader and I mean he looks cool and he's definitely a hot toys figure so he does feel better than this guy um, this guy has a share of issues but I'm like I don't need you know I don't need it I'm happy with this guy and he looks great so I'm not gonna be like reposing Vader all the time he's Vader he's pretty stiff he, he's he's got a giant android body so we don't need to worry about uh, putting him in these like dynamic poses because he doesn't necessarily ever do anything really dynamic. He's just kind of like, Ugh, you know. Um, talking about BB-8 and the droids a little bit. This is the uh, Hot Toys exclusive version that's like, you know, not cheap. And uh, I really only wanted this because of BB-8, the set. And strangely, Ray has become one of my favorite Hot Toys figures. Like, that's weird because I... I wasn't the biggest fan of her in uh, Force Awakens. It wasn't like I, that I didn't like her. I just was like, yeah, you know, I kind of miss Luke and I kind of miss, it, it was just, you know, I feel like Force Awakens was more passive. It was a very passive film, uh, especially compared to like Rogue One where like it's passive for like the first hour and then like all hell breaks loose and it becomes badass. Um, I feel like it, Force Awakens took things very slow and for a good reason, they, they wanted to kind of reinstate the world and these new characters. I understand. But I really liked BB-8 in the film and he had a, a really charming sort of charisma to him. Um, not a replacement for R2-D2 at all. You know, R2 will never be replaced to me. I mean, he's been through a lot of shit. <laughs> you know, he's, he's pretty much seen everything that we've seen in the movies, which is kind of hilarious because he just like, he's like, whatever about it. He's like been to space and almost blown up and fought battle droids and all that stuff. He doesn't give a fuck. But um, <clears throat> BB-8 is pretty awesome. Really cool figure. Not perfect. Um, the magnet thing's kind of funky sometimes. But it works. It's cool. You know. Um, I think Hot Toys is still trying to figure out this whole mechanic. I mean, I wouldn't expect them to put all this effort into this tiny guy just to make him an exclusive for Ray, so I understand that. But I'm sure in the sequel, we'll get some sort of neat two-pack, or if there's new droids that come out, you know, like, I'm sure we'll, we'll see some neat stuff. Um, uh, excuse me, coffee break. But uh, overall, really happy with him. Um, Ray, Ray's just really awesome. I don't know if it's because I, I set her up with all this cool stuff. I gave her her, you know, like, battle, stick and she's holding her lightsaber and she's got her her gun that han gave her and oh my god i the han solo figure the the force awakens one looks so good and i don't want it because then i have to get chewbacca then i have to get finn and i have to get and i don't want finn i don't want chewbacca i mean i do but you know it's just more money and i think finn has a lot of issues i, feel, I think he's like too big or something like just like some issue with, with his head or his body. I don't know. So I'm like, maybe I'll wait for the Last Jedi version or get the Stormtrooper version, which is actually really cool. But uh, he, he's not on my priority list yet. <laughs> yet. But uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. The, 
I saw pictures and people were like, oh, it looks like you're a Nightwing. I'm like, nah, not really. She actually looks a lot like the actress. Um, and uh, it's just really well done. And I'm really happy that she doesn't have like rooted hair. I really hate rooted hair. Um, Black Widow, I've, I've had like four, three different types of Black Widow figures and probably the best one was the Avengers 1 version, to be honest, because the hair was almost just kind of like, like fit in this position. I now have the Civil War version and I'm actually really bummed out with that figure. She looks good, like her head sculpt's fine, her hair is okay, but overall, this is such a better female figure. Um, I think because of her outfit, it's, it's a lot more loose. <laughs> Um, she's a looser woman. I'm probably gonna get a lot of bad comments from that. But uh, overall, really happy with Ray. I like her, her pose, I guess. I think she looks really good. She looks even more amazing with BB-8 and the stand. And, um, and yeah, huh, getting Kylo again, in a, uh, I think, next week. So that's ironic because he was the first one I had and the first one I sold. And now I need him again because we have Rey, so they need to fight. Which I probably won't even have them fighting, they'll just be hanging out with each other. So, um, but yeah, the Force Awakens figure is really cool. I'm also really impressed with this guy. Got him super cheap um, because I don't think they're selling. And if, or maybe they'll sell and then like in a couple months they'll be like worth like 400 bucks. Doubt it though, because they're not like the original Stormtroopers, but very similar. They're they're actually extremely similar. Um, I do feel like these are a little bit um, less well designed, but I think that's just like in, that's just you know the the costume designers from the film, um, because the material that's used on these is, is kind of a thicker rubber compared to the um, Rogue One Stormtroopers, where they have this very thin felt. And um, it's very tight, but they can stretch and they stay in positions. These have like a very like fake leather design on them, like the the um, the clothes underneath the armor. So pretty much, you can't really do much with these guys. You know, they can they can move a little bit, but uh, it, as you can see, this is all very like leathery material. So they can only go so far before they crinkle up and. That kind of sucks because I do want to put these guys in cool poses, but they really can't. Um, unless you want to force it, and I don't recommend that because then you can ruin the material. But I do like this. This is neat. You got a little magnet. Just minor hot toys, you know, coolness right here. Um, yeah, overall, I really like this guy. I love the designs with the, the little patrol um, orange, like, shoulder guards. Um, mainly because, check this out. Because I have another original Kenner figure from when I was four years old. And I'm going to lay this guy down. It's really funny because, yeah, this is the, the Jetta Patrol one. But it's basically the same design. Because um, I actually really like the backpack and everything with him. But, yeah. <laughs> so, crazy. 16 years later. 17 years, almost. And uh, that's funny. It's funny because, you know. Um... But yeah, so Force Awakens figure is really cool. I think, I think I'm I'm glad I, I bought this guy overall. Um, once again, stormtroopers don't come with much, but they at least come with a well done base. <laughs> like these are really cool. I like these a lot. Um, and it's funny because let me show you this: the sideshow base, the new ones that they, they just decided to crap all over. They're literally the same design, <laughs> same shape. Um, the Force Awakens one is slightly smaller, but look what you get. This like says Star Wars and what your, the figure is, and then this is just like, boom. like how much would it cost them just to add a little bit of shit right here, or say Star Wars, Darth Maul, or Vader? Or, I don't know. So it just it's lackluster, and um, I gave Vader Boba Fett's stand because I mean he's on the Sarlacc monster, but also because. You know, Vader comes with the same shitty stand that uh, that Darth Maul came with. And this looks a lot better. You don't even need his name on it. It just looks like he's on the platform from um, when uh, uh, Han gets frozen. I forgot where that happens at. But, um, yeah, so it's Hot Toys has to come and save the day. You know, they have to, here, here's a cool base. 
you know. And and the cool thing with these guys is you get really neat like um, bases. So this is probably from the Death Star or something similar. I think it's the Death Star. Um, the Jetta Patrol actually came with a sand base, but I gave them Luke's base instead, uh, which is more, you know, Death Starry looking. And I know he's like in the sand or whatever, but um, it just kind of fits the Stormtrooper look. So I gave the, the stand to Luke instead. And let's talk about this Luke figure a little bit because <laughs> you guys are probably gonna comment so crazy about like how shitty I am with handling these figures. But I swear, it's the battle droids. They're evil. They have no... They just can't stand. So, Luke... Um, well, I really wanted him, because I, I do love... I think this is my second favorite version of Luke. My, my very... You know, the best version is Return of the Jedi, because he's now a Jedi, and he looks cool, and he has the cloak and all that cool shit. Um, but I like this version, because he's much more innocent... And I know he's holding his lightsaber and shouldn't really, um, because really he's only in promotional pictures, but yeah, it's cool. You know, I, I think he uses the lightsaber once and it's only to practice. So, but it's a really cool hero pose that, you know, I put him in. Um, I don't have Obi-Wan, so he gets the lightsaber that killed the younglings. <laughs> forget that this lightsaber killed a bunch of little kids in Revenge of the Sith <laughs> so that, yeah, that's interesting um but yeah overall this figure is is really it's good it's good I, I think the head sculpt's kind of weird um I don't know what it is I feel like toy designers especially like SH Figuarts have this like weird obsession with making this version of Luke's hair like gold this version isn't too bad, I mean, but it, there is still, like, weird goldness to it. And when you see it in the film, and this is me being picky, which I, I said I wasn't going to be, um, you just kind of, I don't know, it, it's not, it doesn't seem like the, the, the right color. But it's a lot better than what you see with the figures. They literally have, like, almost Super Saiyan, <laughs> like, bronze hair. And it looks weird, because that's not what normal people's hair look like. Um, but this one's a lot better, but you know, once the light hits it, it's, it's got this very like L'Oreal shimmer, which is funny. It's, it's just, I don't know. He, he uses a lot of conditioner, I guess. He has very nice hair on, on Tatooine. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I really like him. I wanted him. Unfortunately, that made me want Han and Leia and Chewbacca and Obi-Wan, but they're too expensive now, especially Leia. She was stupid cheap three months ago, but then, as you know, something happened, and uh, we are now in this giant Princess Leia craze. Had her in my cart, 170, free shipping. Now oh, she's like 300. Sorry, I can't. Maybe give me a uh, Return of the Jedi uh, Leia at some point. We can do that. We'll make that uh, agreement. Just give me Luke first. So. I guess the, the last one we'll talk about is Boba. I kind of held off on this guy for a few months because I really like Boba Fett, but he's kind of like that character that's, meh, you know. He's he's really neat, but just like aesthetically, as a character, he's really shitty. Um, and I don't read the extended universe stuff because I know it's not canon and I just don't really care about it. And I'm sure he's really cool and I'm sure, you know... Um, but all I really have seen of him is from the movies, you know, being that little tiny kid and being like, ugh, I'm mad, but Mace Windu cut my dad's head off, and then being in, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Empire Strikes Back, and just going, all right, Solo, we're gonna freeze you, and then stupidly dying in Return of the Jedi by, I think it was Luke, or, or was Lando? Somebody, like, ricocheted a bullet, I think, and hit his rocket, and he just stupidly died. I've heard rumors that he's not dead. Highly, highly don't believe that. Um, I'm sure they'll make a movie. I'm sure they will, and it'll be, you know, oh, all these new people playing old characters. I'm sure that will happen. Still don't know how I feel about that. You know, we'll see about the Han Solo movie. Mm. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, I really like this figure. He's really cool. He has um, a lot of neat detail. 
And you compare this guy with the Sideshow version, I never had that version, but I was gonna get that one instead because he was a lot cheaper. But then I saw that that Boba Fett comes from like the earlier lines of Sideshow figures, which aren't that great. They're okay, you know, I've had a few of those in the past. I had like Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, which was actually my first review. That's funny. Um, like ever on here, that was like eight years ago, damn. But they had that, the Boba Fett had that body. It was very shitty. I think it was called like the Prometheus body or something. They were very loose and they broke a lot. And uh, and the hands and feet had these like weird, ex like, pro like extra long um, screw joints. So it was kind of like the Hot Toys, how they have like the little, um, the bumps on them, like the, the, the Braille stuff. But it was like really long and shitty. So with these guys, with this Hot Toys figure, it's cool because it's, it can, you know, work with any of the other Hot Toys figures in terms of pegs and additions and all that crap. Um, compared to this old Sideshow stuff, yeah. The neat thing with the new Sideshow figures is, I don't know if this was done on purpose or just trying to mimic uh, Hot Toys, but the their pegs actually can fit with uh, Hot Toys figures now. So that's really neat. Um, I think they're slightly bigger. Um, let me see if I can do a comparison here. That would actually be really cool. So, oh, Boba actually has, that's weird. His, his socket is actually really tiny. So he's got, he's got the skinny arm socket. That's strange. Okay, well, never mind with Boba. That's, huh, I didn't expect that. Because most of the new figures have the thicker sockets. Because, unfortunately, earlier Hot Toys figures um, had a bunch of problems with being able to take hands out and to pop new ones in because the plastic was so hard and then the um, the ball the ball socket, um, or sorry, the ball joint had some problems going in, mm, lol. And basically would snap or break in the hand. A lot of older figures have that issue. Luckily, I think they changed the plastic on the hands or something because the newer ones have no problem. I think the first one I noticed that had the, the new like material was Star-Lord because I put his hands on him like, oh my God, that's incredible. And, um, and the Captain America figures, oh my God, they have been the worst. Thankfully, the Civil War cap has taken care of that issue, thankfully. Because the one thing I can't stand is putting the uh, figure in a really cool pose and their hands just psh, flying off or breaking. So um, where was I? We were talking about, oh, right. We were gonna do a comparison here with the, <laughs> you guys are gonna judge me so hard. The Iron Hulk just damages his toys all the time. So Luke also has a really tiny ball joint, but yeah, um, actually the Sideshow one's a little bit thinner, so this actually might fit. Yeah, it's actually a little bit thinner, but it fits. It's just, you know, imagine Luke with two lightsabers, one evil. That's pretty badass. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, they're getting there. They're, you know, Sideshow is improving. Unfortunately, their prices are nuts. I just picked up the Ash figure as well, the Evil Dead um, 2, but I also like to consider him the Army of Darkness Ash, just because I kind of like that movie a little bit more. Don't judge. Um, and yeah, he was also super expensive. And uh, now he's going up in price and blah, 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 blah. So it's like, damn, it's like you have a gun held against you. And if you don't buy it now, you're going to spend even more later. So I feel like the, the toy collecting industry kind of, it's kind of getting intense because more people are collecting now and it's becoming bigger and it's becoming more accepted. When I started noticing um, IGN, IGN now like get sideshow figures and hot toys figures and you're like oh yeah buy these blah 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 paid for by uh pepsi you know i don't really care for ign but um when i started seeing that stuff and when you see like uh websites like comingsoon.net and engadget and um all the nerdist and all this stuff and you start seeing this stuff it's kind of weird because you know us like collectors that have been collecting for 10 plus years um or around there you hear that car? Um, we've been in this kind of, you know, almost secret, <laughs> secret society of YouTubers and 
Sideshow Freaks boards members and all this stuff. And now it's kind of like, oh, this stuff is really cool, guys. Like, it's really hip and neat to, like, collect all this stuff, Ugh, you know? While before it was like, oh, yeah, this is my hobby, and look how really, look how neat this is, and, you know, thank, you know. So it's become weird, and I don't want to sound like a hipster. I think I'm like the opposite of a hipster. I, it's just kind of like, oh, I, I collected hot toys before it was cool. But it's almost kind of a thing now. If, and you guys are gonna disagree with me, but it's just kind of weird that hot toys, it almost kind of like takes away the, the novelty of it, like the neatness of be, being able to collect the stuff that people don't really know too much about. You're like, oh yeah, it's Hong Kong company. No, now they're everywhere and they're like making everything. Well, Star Wars and DC and Marvel for the most part. And then one, one neat little tiny figure over here that uh, that nobody will buy except me. So probably Terminator figure or, or a tiny you know, Robocop. Or, you know. But everything else is giant Marvel and IGN and Star Wars and we're, we're cool. I really hate talking like that, speaking like that, but it, you know, it bothers me because it's become so um, accepted, which is a good thing, I guess. It's neat, but it's not it's not as fun anymore i guess to be like oh yeah look at this this is from something i know a lot about and i'd like to educate you on it this is side no everybody's like oh yeah i know that yeah. oh okay that's cool i guess neat um and that's not saying like fellow collectors that say that it's it's neat to be with people in our community and talk about this stuff like you're watching me now and you've been sitting through this whole thing because you want to see me talk and i want you guys to hear and i want to discuss it down below and all that stuff um, but yeah, we've reached a, a, a peak now where normal non-collectors are just kind of like, oh yeah, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, that thing's cool, but I wish I had money. How can you afford that? Are you rich? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, mm, shut up. Um, <laughs> so I think that's about it. I've made a giant mess with my figures here, but, uh, I think, yeah, this was just a neat discussion. I'm definitely going to start posting more of this stuff. This is a lot of fun doesn't really require too much prep and I can just sit here and show you guys my toys and talk about them and I'd really like to have a conversation down below what uh, what are some of your favorite uh, sideshow or uh, hot toys Star Wars figures which ones are your least favorite have you had any issues with the hot toys ones you don't even have to mention the sideshow ones I'm sure you've had issues if you want to you can comment with that below too um, but yeah thanks for watching guys I, I let me know if you like this, if you like this sort of discussion thing. Um, I, I definitely want to have more people involved in the future. It'd be cool to do Skype stuff or just talk about figures, have more have more friends over that collect figures and we can talk about that stuff too. And uh, yeah, so until next time, my friends, thank you for watching. 